So, this is a 30 minute sand timer and it has completely changed the way I work and my productivity. I first came across this technique in this article that I'll link down below. It's a technique that I found really useful in the last couple of weeks and it involves working in 30 minute increments with the aid of the sand timer in an uninterrupted way. The only problem is at the minute the timer doesn't have a home and seems to be moving from place to place. So in this video I'll be sharing how I made this nifty little sand timer holder, mount, um, stand, whatever other word you think you can use for it. I'm not actually sure what you'd call this, feel free to let me know in the comments. But anyway, I'll be sharing how I made this so that the sand timer can be used without having to pick it up and it just rotates freely. And let's see if we can find it at home in the workshop. So I began by taking all the necessary measurements of the key parts that I'll need for this project, including the timer and the bearing, and then I headed over into Fusion 360 to start putting together a model of what I want this to look like in the end. And this was the final overview of the design. I went through a couple of iterations while I was going through the process, but this is the one that I finally landed on. So it consists of three parts. You've got the stand, and then the mount for the sand timer to go into, and then you've got this little axle, which is gonna hold everything together. So I think this design will work pretty well, but we won't know until we go ahead and get it put together. So let's go and get things printed. The parts came out looking almost perfect. I printed them in contrasting colours, so I had copper and silver. With the parts done, I was able to start putting all this together. Alright guys, so let's take stock of the 3D printed parts here, and of course the bearing, which we'll come to. So, the way this comes together, this bit in copper is the main stand, and this part in silver is what the sand timer will get housed into, so you can see. That's a nice snug fit there. And then our bearing is going to go into this cutout here where we made space in the 3D print. Like so. And then finally, the two pieces are going to be held together by this little axle. So if I take this part out, this axle is going to go through this space here come through the other side here and go into the bearing here and then that way this will be able to spin around the axle. So the assembly is fairly straightforward but basically just going to need a little bit of super glue to fix the bearing into this part here and the axle into this cut out here and then we should be nearly done. So unfortunately we run into a little problem and as you guys can see our axle has broken there so that was a point of failure. So we're going to go ahead and make a couple of changes here. For a start I'm going to go ahead and change over from a 0.4 nozzle to a 0.6 nozzle. That will help increase the speed time considerably as you guys can see here we've got a comparison of the print times and secondly the Axle, I'm going to go ahead and print it with a much higher infill percentage to give it some strength and hopefully that will rectify these issues. So um, onwards and upwards. With those changes made and the new parts ready, I was crossing my fingers and hoping this time everything would work perfectly. So guys, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It gives the sand timer a nice little mount to rest on, makes it easier to use, and most importantly, my beloved sand timer now has a home that it can stay in forever. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and leaving some comments down below. As always, I'll leave some links to similar projects for you to check out, and I'll see you all in the next video.